In this video, we're going to fully sketch y equals minus 1 take away x over x squared plus 2x plus 2. So this means I want to find any vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, um, points where it crosses the x-axis and y-axis, and any stationary points. Okay? So, here we go. First thing to do, can we factorise that denominator? x squared plus 2x plus 2. Well, um, the discriminant would be b squared, so 4, take away 4 lots of a times c, which would be negative. And so it doesn't factorise, OK? That is going to be greater than 0 for all real values of x. So we can't factorise it. So we've got to go straight in to the, the sketch. And because we cannot factorise this, um, well, because the discriminant is negative, that means that there are no vertical asymptotes. Right, how about where it crosses the x-axis? That's when y is 0. So that will be at minus 1. OK, so minus 1 there. Right, how about where it crosses the y-axis? That's when x is 0. So we would have minus 1 over 2, so minus a half. And how about a horizontal asymptote? Well, the numerator is a polynomial of degree 1, and the denominator it's order 2, and so uh, y equals 0 will be a horizontal asymptote. So the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote here. OK. Right, so we've got that much. So now stationary points. So I'm going to put minus 1 take away x over x squared plus 2x plus 2 equal to k. Multiply up by the denominator. Minus 1 take away x is equal to kx squared plus 2kx plus 2k. Move everything onto the right-hand side. 0 is equal to kx squared plus 2k plus 1x. Adding the x to both sides. Add the 1 to both sides, we get 2k plus 1. Now, we're going to need the discriminant to be equal to 0. So 2k plus 1 squared, take away 4 lots of a times c. Now, I could expand the brackets here, or I could do a sneaky factorization, because I've got the 2k plus 1 as a common factor. So this is quite a rare occurrence, so might as well take use of it. 2k plus 1, pull that out of both terms, and I'll be left with a 2k plus 1 there. Take away 4k equals 0. So 2k plus 1, 2k take away 4k is minus 2k, so 1 take away 2k equals 0. So k must be equal to minus a half, or k is equal to 1 half. OK? Right, so now I've got to work out the x-coordinates. So they are the y-coordinates. So when k is equal to minus a half, I'm going to substitute that into this quadratic here. So I'm going to get 0 is equal to minus a half x squared. 2 lots of minus a half is minus 1, plus 1 is 0. So I'm just going to get 0x plus 0. And so I get 0 equals a minus a half x squared, and so that would mean that x is equal to 0. So I will have 0 minus a half is a stationary point. Right, when k is a half, I get 0 equals 1 half x squared, so substitute in here. Uh, 2 lots of a half plus 1 is 2, so 2x and then plus 2. Multiply through by 2, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4, which is x plus 2 all squared, 
which means x is equal to negative 2. So minus 2, 1 half is a stationary point. So we've got the minus 2, 1 half, uh, which is going to be somewhere like there. And we know that this is a stationary point as well. OK? And it's got to approach the x-axis. So it must be coming around there and then tending towards the x-axis in that direction. And then coming through there, stationary, background, and approaching the x-axis from that direction. OK? And so that must be the shape of my curve.